Which you guys got another video here for you. If you don't like Windows 11 Paint with all of the Copilot built into it, then you can use this trick that I'm going to show you right here to replace it with the classic uh, Microsoft Paint. You can see here this one comes with all the bloat like Copilot. And there's a lot of people that just want to use the basic functionality of Paint and they just don't want all of this Copilot stuff embedded everywhere on their computer. Now, Microsoft have plans to do this with all of their applications. So if you want to get back to the classic view, then you can use the you know IoT versions or LTSE versions of Windows 11 and Windows 10, which will obviously remove all of this bloat and use classic versions of the actual applications that Microsoft have. But there is a way of putting this back to a classic version. I'll show you that in this video but first let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor cd key sales if you're looking for a cheap windows 10 pro or a cheap windows 11 pro oem key then check out the links in the video description you can use my promo code capital b capital r 09 and apply that to your order and get a 30 percent discount on all your purchases on cd key sales once you submit your order they will send you your key you can use that to activate your version of windows just like you see right here Okay, so let's get on to the tutorial itself. So to get the classic paint back, you need to go to this location right here and download it. Now this works for Windows 10 and it also works for Windows 11 as well. And I'm on Windows 11 24H2, so it works perfectly fine on Windows 11 24H2. So if you're like me and you just like the classic apps, then download this and unpack it. And it gives you the instructions on the screen. I've showed you how to do this with Notepad and we're going to be going ahead and doing this with the classic paint. So let's go ahead and get this downloaded. What we're going to do here is navigate to the location here, and we're going to extract this into our folder here. So we're in the downloads folder here. Let me just extract this right here. Now, there is another way of doing this, which is a bit more involved, but this is probably the easiest method to getting the classic paint back onto the system. Click on the executable file right here. You'll see a box popping up saying use account control. And what we want to do here is click on yes. And this will then give us the installation box. Click on next and next again. And what you want to do here is click on open settings right here. So we're going to go ahead and do this right here. This will change and disable the uh, app aliases. So once this opens up right here and you'll see the app exclusion aliases, this is exactly where you need to turn off this feature because these two features right here, paint, and paintbrush.exe are to do with the new paint and we don't want to be using those so we're going to turn those off right here and you can do this with notepad and there's ones in here for notepad as well i covered that in another video now we're going to go back and click next and what we're going to do is create a desktop icon and we can also do this for all users and click install there's a bunch of stuff up here from the creator here so what we're going to do is quickly toggle these off right here and we can now run the classic paint and there it is right there in all its glory the classic microsoft paint no bloat no uh, co-pilot none of that stuff just a normal paint that you might just need to quickly use and if that's what you want to use and you want to get it installed on your system that's how you can do it now there's a couple of other steps you can do if you want to add uh, these icons to your menu you can see we've got one right here that's on the desktop, but that might not be enough. And you might want to add it and pin it to your uh, menu on your start menu and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and do that. You can see right here, if I go to the start menu, go all, and you can see the apps right here. So if we come down and take a look, you should see the paint, the original paint that's inside here, which is this one right here. And there's also a paint.net, which I installed to show you as well. If you're interested in that, I'll quickly show you that as well. And we can also get our classic one. So inside here, we can go to pictures. And if we want to right click on an image right here and we want to edit it in paint, if you come down, you're going to see this one here. You can't be clicking on this one because this is the new paint version that has Copilot in here. Now, you could just simply uninstall this, which is probably the best method. You can right click on the image, go more, and you can see right here, edit with classic paint and when you click on this it's going to open up the classic paint so let's get rid of the new paint if you don't want it on the system you can always reinstall this as well from the microsoft store once you've uninstalled it so let's go to the settings panel here apps 
installed apps and let's drill down to where paint is and uninstall it now let's go ahead and find it right here click on the three dots and click uninstall and that will remove the copilot version of paint from your system now we've got that removed all we need to do here now is we're going to close this off right here and i just want to quickly show you this paint.net because if you want a more advanced paint and you don't want to use the classic paint but you want something a bit more advanced then using the paint.net version which is a free version you can use which has a lot more uh, tools on it and a lot more uh, usability than the classic paint but if you want to use the classic paint then i'll show you that as well so now what we're going to do is quickly add some shortcuts to some locations to make it easier to find paint so the first one we want to do right here is we're going to go to our run box and we need to go to our start menu right here so on the run box you need to go to this location right here shell colon common and in space start menu click ok and this will open up the start menu location you'll see a folder in here called programs and all you need to do now is copy this shortcut into here so we're going to quickly right click here copy this and paste it into here like so and that will add it into our startup menu and that's now done and all we need to do now if you want to put it onto your taskbar all you need to do is right click on that icon and add it to your taskbar and this will just add these into locations to make it easier to find just like you could when you found paint so let me go ahead and do that right here pin it to taskbar there it is right there and we now have it on our taskbar in our start menu and we have it on our desktop we can pin it to our start menu at the top so if you wanted it pinned right here all you need to do for that is just go to all come down to look for classic paint and all you need to do is right click on this and pin this to start and this will pin this to your front start menu so it's easy accessible from there so you can see when i click on this right here now it's right here so you've got it replaced and that's basically how you can replace the bloated paint version inside windows 11 with the classic version it's that simple and you can get all your shortcuts and all your settings how you like just by doing that method there anyway i hope this video has been some sort of use to you all you need to do now is when you edit these images right here now you'll just see the paint version right here show more and it will just show it up in the list right here and there'll be no other paint version to confuse you and that's it Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. I just want to say my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I want to wish everyone a happy Easter. Hope you're having a lovely weekend. And I shall catch you in the very next video. Or I'll catch you on the Discord server for a chat. The link is in the video description. It's our new Discord server. So check it out and join there if you wish. Big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. We have some new members on here. Nick Holdstock as well has just joined the tier three members group. I really do appreciate that. I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.